You are welcome to the Economy and Politics Show. I am Otto Abasi Abasiakong. The development of any political economy is best captured through incisive analysis backed up with data that can dictate the direction of policies and the interplay between the public and private sector. The National Bureau of Statistics in Nigeria, like its counterpart organizations in the globe, has been saddled with the responsibility of developing methodologies for the sectoral performance of the economy. In this edition, at the 18th Annual Stockbrokers Summit, which focused on entertainment industry, I met Dr. Yemi Kale, the Director General of the National Bureau of Statistics. And I first asked him how the entertainment industry itself is contributing to the Nigerian economy. What we have observed uh, from the rebasing is that the entertainment industry, combined activities that make up what we call the entertainment industry, is a significant contributor to our economy's uh, growth and our GDP. Uh, it, it's among the top 10 fastest growing sectors in the Nigerian economy. It's among the top 10 largest uh, contributors to GDP. Uh, it's currently contributing about 1.4% of our GDP. And in real terms, that's just over 700 billion uh, naira. So it's quite significant. I think what the CIS is doing today is quite important so that they can reposition the industry for even bigger growth and development. It was also an opportunity for me to clarify about the proper analysis and data of our unemployment figure in Nigeria from Dr. Kale. The last time we computed unemployment and published unemployment was 2011. Um, and we haven't published since then. And I have explained several times why. We are not very comfortable with the methodology we use for computing unemployment. We use um, 40 hours a week as our benchmark. So if you work 39 hours, we'll classify you as unemployed. Um, but we do not want to use the international definition from the ILO, which says one hour. When we use one hour, we get an unemployment rate of less than 2% because Nigerians are entrepreneurial. So if you ask anybody, did they work an hour a week? Almost everybody will say they did something for an hour a week. And we didn't want to use that. So we used 40 hours, which is the definition of full employment in Nigeria. But like I said, that also has a problem because if you work 38, 39 hours, we'll classify you as unemployed. So the last time we computed unemployment, using that 40 hours, uh, definition which we are not too comfortable with was in 2011 and that was 23.9 percent but since then we've set up a, a, a committee made up of uh, a lot of experts a lot of stakeholder experts who had whose job was to come up with a more useful definition methodology for complete unemployment and they have completed their work so very soon we would recompute the numbers and we'll have a new benchmark for computing unemployment in nigeria but until then we have to wait to get new figures Inflation is caused by demand and supply. So if the supply of goods are more than the amount of uh, cash chasing those goods, then um, prices will go down because suppliers will be competing to sell their goods to few uh, people that want the demand. But if it's the reverse, where um, there's a lot of money changing fewer goods, then the pressure is on the consumers who will be competing to give suppliers as much money as possible so they get those goods. So it depends on how it plays out. Is, it, is, it, is there going to be more money chasing uh, fewer goods or is there going to be more goods chasing few, uh, uh, a lot less money? And it depends on how that plays before we know the direction. So I don't think it's easy or possible for anybody to predict the direction of inflation. In any case, I think the authorities, the CBN and so on, have been, taking, have been preempting a possible hike in inflation and they have taken steps to halt it. And I, I guess once you preempt it and you take steps, the possibilities of it going out of hand is less. So given the steps that uh, the CBN and the other authorities are taking to curtail inflation, um, if successful, I assume that uh, it will not be a problem going into next year. I must appreciate Dr. Yemi Kale for his sincerity and openness in this conversation. Now we go to the analysis. For a country with a population of over 170 million people, it will take coordinated efforts to get a robust index and data that affects planning in the country. My three takeaways. First, the government must pay close attention to planning that is matched with effective data. This will be pivotal to the development of the country. And it's good that we are seeing the National Infrastructure Master Plan taking root. Second, as the election draws near, the Central Bank of Nigeria must buckle up and utilize the necessary tools to navigate the economy to the face of an increasing inflationary rate regime. And lastly, the National Bureau of Statistics must reposition itself 
with clear, incisive analysis like the monthly job reports that will be credible and reckoned with by all stakeholders in the economy. And that will be all for this edition of the Economy and Politics Show. You can join us on our website www.webtvng.com and also our social media handle which are very interactive, Facebook and Twitter. Until next edition, thank you for watching and have a lovely day.